I'm Glenn Ferris, ICO Corporation. I'm the Director of the Strategic Segment Solutions Department. We're around uh, York, Nebraska, and Pellet Tech is, has a facility in York that is producing a high quality feed pellet that's made from corn stover and uh, uh, distillers dried grains, DDGs, which is a byproduct of the grain ethanol uh, process. And they have a proprietary uh, technology where they make a high gr grade pellet uh, for feed in the cattle industry. My name is Joe Luna. I am the manager of business strategy for Pellet Tech. For Midwest farmers, ag residue can be a problem. Uh, we take that ag residue and we turn it from a cost center into a profit center. Uh, what's happening right now on, on certain fields, especially in the Midwest, is that you have a big inhibitor of next year's crop. So think of it as a blanket that's sitting there out on the soil that really doesn't have a, a higher value end use. Uh, a lot of corn stover is used for bedding or for sopping up manure where we can take it, we can sustainably harvest it from the farmer, we can pay them a fee that'll help increase their bottom line, and then we can utilize it in a way that's gonna be sustainable, traceable, and performance value for uh, feeders, cattle feeders, uh, any type of livestock feeders. Our process starts on the field with sustainable agronomy. Uh, we've partnered with Agco in that respect to harvest over 100,000 tons of corn stover in this area. The collection and delivery of corn stover involves several processes uh, that, that are all at, at work simultaneously, as you can see here in this field. I mean, here, this field was shredded yesterday. You have two balers working in the field today, one uh, Challenger tractor with a Heston baler and one Massey tractor with a Heston baler. And then you also have Stinger, which is picking up the bales and making them, putting them in stacks like the one I'm standing next to here. And then we'll have a trucking company that come in and we'll start loading stacks with a uh, front end loader with a bell squeeze on it, putting them onto the back of a trailer and then delivery to the plant and unloaded uh, at the project there in York. Agco uh, was chosen as, as the uh, feedstock uh, harvester and the oversight of the feedstock harvest program. So uh, the reason we chose them was because of their involvement in previous projects that were to the scale of what we're doing here and Agco's expertise around making consistent, high-quality bales. And these great uh, square shoulders and the shape of these bales is a direct result of uh, increasing the length of the chamber. We uh, also uh, put in a, a flywheel and shear bolts that are some 90% larger and heavier than they, they were in our former balers. And so what's happened with those changes and other things we have learned about the operating of the baler in these materials has now made it not only a better baler for corn stover, but a better baler for anything that you want to use because all of those things will, will, will benefit uh, any product you're trying to bale. Corn stover, hay, alfalfa, I mean you can do one of them in the morning and one of them in the afternoon. Agco is definitely an expert when it comes to the baling and the handling and the logistics of, of moving biomass, especially corn stover. In this day and age, you know, we have to learn to do more with less. You know, we, we need to learn how to use less fuel, less fertilizers, less chemicals, more of the residue, do anything that it can to, to not only bring more efficient operations, which usually means greater environmental performance, but it also means money to be put into our, our customers' pockets.